Welcome to EDSE 512. This course is called Assessment, IEP Development, and Instructional Planning. My name is Anna Vick and I'm so excited to have you all in class. This course will prove to be essential for your current and future study and practice in the field of special education. I'm so glad that you're here and in this course right now because the content that you take from it will be invaluable to you as you work with students and develop individualized programming to meet their educational needs. The best place to start in our course in Canvas is by clicking on Home, which will take you to the same content as what is under Syllabus. These two are linked together. So either of those buttons will get you to the right place. And then you'll be able to take a look at several different documents. Keep an eye also on recent announcements. You'll see I sent a brief one this morning. You can also find all course announcements under this announcements tab here in Canvas on the left hand side of our course shelf. All four of these documents are important for your review, but I would say Probably the most essential one is the 512 course schedule, this PDF document. So I will pull that up for us to look at together. The syllabus, by the way, is a pretty traditional, straightforward syllabus. You'll find information about the program objectives and relationship to professional competencies. And then you'll also be able to see information on the required text the point allocations for assignments, advocating for your needs if you do have accommodations related to disability support services, etc. So for the syllabus, you'll be able to browse all of that, make sure that you're familiar with that content. I would say the most essential parts of the syllabus would be the point allocations here and then the required text. It's very important that you are accessing that required text Soon, you'll see there are a couple chapters included in Canvas to get you started, but putting that order in is essential. So if you do have questions or concerns about accessing the text for the course, please contact me as soon as possible so that we can get moving and make sure that you have what you need. So you'll see here the various requirements that are outlined. And these are discussions. You'll see that each discussion is 25 points. And then there are other activities. And ultimately, the case study activity for different parts. So you won't need to submit this all at once. It will be broken down for you. Total of that activity or case study assignment will come up to 280 points. You'll see there is information here with brief descriptions of your assignments. More clear criteria will be found in the course shell. Grading scale is consistent with what you will see across courses in the UNC Graduate School. And the information on the required text is included right here, along with some other suggested readings and uh, the accommodations. If you do have accommodations, please present them to me as soon as possible so that we can discuss what you need and how to support your success in the course. Obviously, academic honesty, you'll want to use your own words and your own ideas. If you are citing sources, please do so in APA format in 7th edition. And be sure that you're not submitting work that you have done in another class unless you have a previous agreement with myself as the instructor. And other basic information regarding policies here at UNC, please do review those. But as I mentioned, this course schedule document will be a key guide for you throughout our class. So we will take a look at that now. You'll see that we have many different units in our course. It goes all the way down to unit 12 here on this third page. Most of the units last for one week. Some of them last for two weeks. And you'll see that indicated here in the schedule. So the dates provided here indicate the final day of that unit for the course. So you'll notice, for instance, unit one ending on September 2nd, seven days after that, one week after that, unit two will end on September 9th. 
There is detailed information here regarding the due dates for the discussions. So the initial posts will be made by Monday. And that leaves you with two more days, Tuesday and Wednesday, to respond to your colleagues. You'll need a minimum of two responses by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m., which is the final day of the unit. And those are the dates listed here in this column. You'll also see the topics of our units outlined, the assigned readings, and the assignments responsibilities. One other comment regarding discussions, please do ensure that you're leaving adequate time. So even though there is that Monday deadline, you might consider posting beforehand or posting before the late hours of the night on Monday because the concept of the discussion board is that we are collaborating, reflecting upon the posts of other people in the class, adding insight, having a dialogue, asking questions, responding to others, and if we wait until the last minute, it's harder to do that. So I would encourage you just to review the discussion prompt early in the unit. Think about what you might be able to contribute and consider stretching that out a little bit as you have the opportunity. However, the formal due dates are listed here in the schedule document. So for responsibilities, obviously every unit has activities. Those might be things that you are reading or viewing. There are iris modules, etc. But the submission requirements will be the assignments, and you'll see there are spots for submission there in Canvas, as well as the discussion submissions, which we just outlined when it comes to those due dates, the initial post, and source citation required within those discuss discussions. You'll see here there is a two-week unit, for instance, Unit 6, that is indicated in the course schedule, and Unit 8, and Unit 10. So those will just go for two full weeks rather than one full week. And once again, the final date of the unit is indicated in this course schedule. Please do review these two paragraphs at the bottom of the schedule as well so that we're all clear on discussion requirements and late work. Returning to the course shell, there is a welcome letter with more information about our class and Canvas and expectations and a welcome from myself with some information about my background and my role here in the course with all of you. As you scroll down on this main page, you'll see similar information regarding expectations for the course in a summary of many different assignments with their due dates. So feel free to review that if that format is helpful to you. You may also want to frequently refer to this course schedule document. Some may find it helpful to print this out and just post it somewhere where you can see it or save it to your desktop, somewhere that will be quickly and easily accessible for you to remain organized on your due dates. As you would typically do in a Canvas course, and I'm sure many of you have encountered this before, you'll click on Modules to look through our content. So do begin in the Start Here section. Good information regarding APA format. We are using 7th edition now, so there are some links on that to support you. Information on the text and a reminder to get that ordered, but you'll see that there are PDFs of the first short parts of the text, two chapters, to get you started if you are waiting. However, please do ensure that you have that coming sooner rather than later. Then you'll see Unit 1. This is a fairly short unit, um, content-wise, just to kind of get us all started. So each unit will have a visual here in the beginning that shows the goals, what we'll be working on, the reading, and ultimately the assignments. So in Unit 1, we will have the lectures to review. So you'll see you can take notes on the handout for your own reference if you choose to do so. More information regarding ethical, legal, and professional issues. So we will be talking about assessment throughout. There are videos, another lecture handout, and that slideshow also in PowerPoint format. Please do review these videos. If you have any trouble accessing them, let me know. Oh, another comment regarding that page, going back. There is an activity here. When you click on that, you'll see 
It is an optional quiz. It is not for points. However, it's good to take it and just see what you've learned regarding assessment and law, and those legal aspects after you review this video. So I would encourage you to take it, but it will not be formally scored. More important content regarding students with diverse backgrounds and the many factors that can affect their experience in assessment and the outcomes of those assessments. That information is quite important regardless of the student population that you serve or will be serving in the future. We also have information here regarding ensuring that all of our IEPs and lesson planning has alignment with standards. And finally, we'll have two different discussions. So first, this is an introduction discussion. It is not for a grade, but can be valuable for you as we get to know one another. I would love to learn more about you and your backgrounds. And then here in unit one, we'll see there is the formal discussion board, which is for credit and will have due dates as outlined in the course schedule. So you will say hello and do a brief introduction here. That's um, just to ensure that we all do that because some may not participate in the optional discussion board. And then you'll be addressing a couple questions here and do be sure to cite your source in APA format, which could be the course text or other relevant reliable academic sources such as journal articles. If you have questions on what constitutes a reliable source, please let me know. So obviously grades, you can look at your scores there. Under assignments, you'll be able to access a list of the work that we are doing in the class and the due dates for that work. So do make use of that page if it's helpful for you as you organize. Please reach out to me with any questions at anna.vick, that's V-I-C-K, at U-N-C-O dot E-D-U. And be sure to look ahead and plan ahead. You'll see that the units are open and accessible to you here on Canvas. And we did that on purpose. I want to make sure that you're able to review what's coming and that we don't have surprises. So please let me know if you've got questions or concerns as we get started. And I look forward to getting to know all of you via the discussion boards. Have a great week.